Now you have to ask yourself, of all the big name bands I have saw in concert, what was like the best? My earliest memories uh, from Paramount 5000 to Papa Roach, uh, Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, yeah, those were like some of like the earliest uh, concerts. Uh, <laughs> Here in Nickelback, I was very young, but didn't like see them like up close and personal. Uh, saw the Headstones once. I was just like, "Wow! Like this is like awesome." One of the Cavs greatest bands. Uh, Talk of Godsmack. That was just. It, it was like two birds to one song. Are dying, but like three times. Kid Rock, probably a few times here and there. Uh, Buck Cherry, about twice. Papa Roach, yeah, like I said, I see Papa Roach twice already. was once thought we could death punch once from Ash from Ash to do now that, that was a band that really just blew me out of the water but I think death punch I mean the case that their performance when I was on Saskatoon it was just like it, <laughs> it was once for the ages I mean when they did the, uh, it was Ivan and Jason the question because when they did the uh, Ross of Heaven it was just like ting you hear like you, you can hear crickets and when the whole crowd was singing along doing Ross of Heaven it was just like wow uh, heart with uh, Jason Bond, what's up with experience? I was just mind blowing. Uh, Iron Maiden, uh, it was just like wow. Nickelback, the second time around. Part of Dark Horse Tour, uh, seeing Rev Theory twice, uh, Theory Dead Man, uh, Second Dance Charm. I mean, there was a lot of great bands. I mean, now it's going to switch it on the RFM side. Uh, yeah. Default Finger 11. Uh, it was my first year of RFM, uh, our Festival of Rock in the Fields. Monster Truck. Saw them like up close and personal. It was just like, I was just like, what? Standing on, standing on deck, somebody stands next to me, like, hey, Monster Truck's playing, we'll go see them. And standing on our main stage behind this uh block this uh, the screen and just seeing the monster it was just like <sighs> first time I mean as well that we had Series Grace at at a festival it was just my blown but don't even mean great. You know, that was a, a whole different uh, ball game. Uh Glory Sons when they play in their festival it was just mind blown it was like they, they just totally just, they uh, totally brought the great game now no sinner now that was another bad that was definitely on my radar when they played their festivals was like wow like you really like like this was the band that just came out of the blue and 
the front wheel and the little center and play because she just she she was rocking it like he never never uh, brought it. Uh, Terry Lightfoot. Now, now that was an artist that really just blew my mind and hearing her stuff on uh, CBC Radio too. But when when Terry Lightfoot played at our festival, it was just like what? And, and there was one person uh, was saying, Who, "Who's this artist playing?" And I explained that it was Terry Lightfoot. CBC Radio Two was playing like boatloads of her. And there are a few cover bands that, uh, I mean, Kate's Outlaws, I mean, that was just, like, okay. Katie McDonald playing out a Cheryl Crow, a Serena Ryder, and a Tracy Chapman cover. That was just, like, okay. <sighs> when Our Lady Peace performed at a festival, this was, like, Could have been my last year, but you know, I didn't want to put myself, put my neck out there to do the weather that uh, shortened our leaf piece set. But you know, with the weather, it was just like, what can you do, really? But we, Daughtry. Now, now that was a band that. I pretty much just pooped all over them. I, 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 I'm s still a huge fan of their group. But when they played at a festival, it was just like, in hearing what, what, what was uh, being said behind the scenes, it was just like, oh my god, they just stunk up the joint. And it was just like, and, and, uh, of, all, of all thousand bands that our festival could have booked that year, they say, oh, we're going to give Daughtry a shot. And I was just like, ugh. I mean, when they went into like their third song, it was just like, you could hear the crickets. It was just like, oh my god. Fast forward to last year. Of all the big name bands, they're like, Arkells, I am the Earth, which I meant to bet both bands in person. And you have this magician and, and don't get me wrong when last year's 2017 uh, Rock and the Fields came out I looked at all the bands and I was like Chris Funk the one of us I was just like who in the like who 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 is Chris Funk the one of us and I did my homework and I'm like oh he's a magician and I was just like and he opened Friday night like he did his own stick I was just like what am I seeing as, as mentioned as somebody is like why a magician oh you need some time you need like I'm like I'm mean, like really I was just like oh. Glass Tiger oh, they were alright Barry Bendel eh. But the rest of it was just like brilliant. It was like Joey Lanzers, uh, traveling bounds, like yeah. But uh, yeah, Gates Ellis, Key McDonald, Johnson Kirk. I mean, Johnson Kirk was just phenomenal, but Arkell's shoes, those were like. The two biggest uh, that just wild me. If you're talking about a band that just another band that just mm, 